Brian Gomez is building a coffee roasting business and hopes one day soon he can actually hold and drink a cup of his own coffee. In 2011, Brian suffered a dirt bike accident that broke his neck, leaving him in a wheelchair with limited use of his hands. The hardest things to learn, just putting on your socks, uh, learning how to eat, like this, the things that you wouldn't think would be hard at all. Normally regaining any hand movement this long after an accident is rare, but today things are getting better for Brian thanks to an innovative surgery and a doctor who saw the potential for recovery even five years after his accident. Uh, Spinal cord is a very plastic and very smart organ that can be, um, the, the circuitry can be rewired. Which is what Dr. Daniel Liu is hoping to do. Through an NIH funded study at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, he performed the first surgery in the world that uses a 32 electrode stimulator. It detours spinal cord injuries and finds new pathways to deliver brain signals directly to a patient's hands. Two months after the experimental procedure, Brian was once again able to use all 10 fingers. Left arm at two. Today he continues to undergo rigorous therapy where researchers find tune the signals from the stimulator and chart Brian's progress. In the three patients who've received the device at UCLA, hand function has increased by as much as 300 percent. Meaning that they can now use your hands for daily tasks like typing on a computer, using a phone, you know, um, in Brian's case, you know, grinding coffee beans. Things are about to change for better, so you get more excited. I, at least I did, got more excited about what's to come. At UCLA, this is Clark Powell reporting.